Hello, hello. Welcome back to Cat's Treasure Hunting. Dalton and I are back at Salvation Army in Key West. So today is our last full day on the island. I was just here yesterday, so I'm kind of interested to see if I find some more stuff. Oh, maybe they put out new stuff or maybe I missed some stuff. Dalton sees an airplane. So Dalton, tell them hello and we're going to go. All right, let's go. All right, so when we first went in, the mugs are right there. If you remember, yesterday here, I found mugs worth $150. So you know I'm definitely going to be checking the mugs out again. Now here, this is a really, really cool one. It's a Bone Island Shuttle, a little souvenir mug. This one I don't think is worth a ton, but I think it will sell for about $15. And then I also saw this Rocky Horror Picture Show, probably about the same, but for only a dollar, getting 15 is not very bad. Now, I thought about this vineyard one from the Keys, but I did decide to leave that one there. I don't pick up a ton of mugs, but I do always look at them. Dalton's checking some stuff out in the window. And as you see, the spaghetti cups that all of you told me I should have got yesterday are gone. <laughs> so somebody else got them. And that is Miss Vicky on the other side of the mugs. You'll see her here in a little bit. Her and her, her other half, Mr. Bill, I invited them to come down to the Keys with us. I met them through my nurse flipper camp. So they are here with Dalton and I shopping at Salvation Army in Key West. Now we're going to move on over to the plates. This is an amazing Ferrari plate and it's actually stamp made in Italy. It does have a superficial crack, but it was only a dollar. And that one I'm going to have to do some research. I feel like that could be pretty valuable. Now these are Arco Rock um, Octagon Bowls. They do sell, but they don't sell for a lot, and they do take a while to sell. I have sold some plates from them in that same pattern, and so I decided to leave those there. And you know, we got we to gotta just do a drive-by of the golf clubs and see what we see, but there was nothing interesting in the golf clubs. Now, here they have some beautiful, beautiful studio pottery unfortunately they had them marked pretty high i think they were marked at 10 and 15 dollars so a little bit higher than i would want to pay for those pieces without being named potters so we decided to leave those there and if do you see the dog rolling around in the background he's just rolling around in the store hanging out you know key west is a little different than everywhere else and I love it there. All right now we are going to check out this box. So if you do not know this is a Bombay jewelry box. I have done okay with them. Now it's from 1996. They do sell for between 50 and 100 dollars. It was really really nice. I think they had it at 15 though so if it only sold for 50 really doesn't leave a ton of profit. So I did decide to leave that one there. If it had been eight to ten dollars I probably would have picked that up because those are very very nice kind of they can be used for jewelry boxes or mementos now look at this it's signed lisa 06 it's just a studio pottery piece but it had an amazing 3d dragonfly and it was only three dollars so i put that in my basket pretty pretty quick and you will see it better up close at the hall at the end of this now, I love selling coasters, but single coasters don't do very well. I like to pick up at least two of them if I'm going to pick them up because single ones are pretty hard to sell. And this is a little double vase, but this one, I wasn't, I wasn't overly impressed with that. I think it was a um, oil and vinegar horror but that one we decided to leave there and this little vase said espana but again not not overly impressive so we did decide to leave that one there as well there is mr bill and miss vicky right there up close and personal mr bill's finding a bowl so we were kind of doing our own thing in the thrift store now here these little coasters there were two but i wasn't overly impressed with them 
Dalton was finding stuff for me. He found, I don't even know what this is. I have no clue what it is for a dollar. So I left it there because I didn't know what it was, but Dalton was impressed with it. Now down here on the bottom, this is a really, really cool vintage little wrought iron, kind of a buggy. And this one was five and it could hold like wine bottles or it could hold pots. I thought that was really, really cool. And I did end up picking that one up. I went and set it behind the counter. Now this is a Sheridan spoon. I ended up looking it up and they're only worth about $6 and they wanted to. So we did not get that. This bread maker, check bread makers and models was worth about $300, but I passed that on to Bill and Vicki because the room in my car was super tight. It, we were, we were running out of room. Dalton loved that globe. But again, we did not, we did not have much room left in the car, unfortunately. Now over here is the electronics and these were some coffee filters, <laughs> though I don't drink coffee. So we left those there. Now here in the back is a wipe warmer. Stuff like this for babies is generally all over the place, which means it takes longer to sell and it doesn't sell for very much so that one we did leave and this one here i contemplated it's a popcorn popper pretty cool it is vintage they had it at ten dollars sells for about 30 to 40 and i ended up deciding just because it's so big and would be harder to ship that i would leave it there and even though it was it was really really cool Now we're going back through the breakables and I, I notice new stuff every time I walk in a section. So I do recommend checking out the sections at least a couple of times when you're in the thrift stores, either because you miss stuff the first time or they could also be putting stuff out continually. And you can see like that giant rug was not here yesterday. So there is a lot of new stuff out today. And now we are going to go check out the linens and pillows, which we did look at yesterday. However, this really, really cool pillow, it's a needlepoint pillow, was not there. I believe this is a Greyhound. It does have the black velvet back. I typically do pretty well with those. I think I should be able to get 30 to 40 for this pillow. So we definitely are going to pick this one up. Now over here, these are really, really nice pillowcases and a duvet cover, but I didn't know the size and it was kind of hard to tell. And I think she, she wanted to see what I was looking at and check it out with me. She was very, very nice. And we were looking to see if we saw a brand, but, and I think I did, I did find out they were Canon, but she didn't see it. So I decided to investigate a little more because I absolutely love this pattern. So you sometimes with these have to flip them inside out. And there you can see the Canon. Canon new does well. And these are super cute. Look at the buttons. But again, <laughs> space, space crunch, space crunch. So we're, we're going to leave those there. I do not resist all of the linens though. You will see here in a minute. Now this is a sheet set. This one felt pretty nice. That's typically what I, is my go-to with sheets, how they feel. It was another duvet cover. And again, I'm going through looking for the brand. This one was Field Crest. Those do okay as well, but typically the newer sheet sets are going to do better. Not very many do good used. However, this is one that does. So again, you see me digging for that brand and there it is. Pottery Barn Kids sell absolutely great. I actually knew this pattern because I had sold pillowcases of it. And now we're going to look at the shirts again, even though we were, we were just here yesterday, but we're going to check them out and see if we see anything new put out today. Yesterday, I found quite a few shirts in here, so I was hoping they had put some new ones out that I could find, but so far, no luck. But we're going to keep trying.
and I just browse to see if any like color or pattern or even fabric catches my eye but not not much was so now we have moved on and we are actually in the women's short section and I see that Nike check sticking sticking out there very very obvious these are Nike running shorts they have built-in liner and these sell pretty well and they were only $2.99 so we did pick those up Dalton is checking out stuff in the window down there these were very glittery short those red ones but we did not get those and I do kind of browse through the women's clothes. I typically don't pick up a ton, but I just look to see if anything catches my eye. And this one did. So if you do not know, Lily Pulitzer is a great brand of clothes. She also has purses, makeup bags. Definitely pick Lily Pulitzer up if you see it. And I saw this Vashi Messenger bag. That is a thick canvas bag. I did end up going back and picking that up i think i think you'll see here in a few minutes now that purse was 12 and it was not branded and then over here i'm just gonna again browse through to see if any colors or patterns catch my eye i don't know a ton of names i am still trying to learn some more women's brands of clothing because they're not super hard to list and they're pretty easy to ship. This one was new with tags, but it was not a name I knew. So I did decide to leave that one there. And then up top here, they also had hats. And I left a few hats behind the day before. But I'm going to look again. Now here is a Nike dry fit. I couldn't read the brand on that second one, but I did pick up that Nike. And then here, another brand I know that sells well is Victoria's Secret. It's a little uh, waffle sleep shirt. So I did pick that one up too. Dalton's checking out the clothes with me. He likes the one with the flowers. We did not get that though. Now up top here, I saw this... 2020 la dodgers world championship the world series hat that one we did pick up now that one the camo i did end up putting back but here's a really really nice sketchers fitted hat so we picked that one up as well now that notre dame one was pretty stained so i decided to leave that one and here is a Barco one. This is a very, very well-made scrub top, size medium. So I did decide to get that one. And you see, I had to leave my basket on the ground because it was too heavy. Now here, this is a really, really cool Laurel Birch tote bag. Laurel Birch is kind of known for her different looking cat prints. This one was only three. So we did pick that one up as well. And now just checking the purses out because again they kept putting out quite a few while we were there i like this beaded one but when i looked inside it looked like it was a newer one and i tend to only pick up the vintage beaded bags for the most part and that was a beautiful leather bag but i think they had it like 10 or 12 dollars and you see me peeking inside i'm looking at the brands i always look at the brands look for the brands get the ones you know and the rest unless they are spectacular they get to stay there now we found a bra yesterday and we just found another one this one is freya brand and this one was only $2.99 and it was new with tags so we picked that one up so two days in a row here we found bras that were brand new with tags and the print on this I think it was kind of like a nightgown. It was absolutely beautiful, but I ended up leaving that one there. But I saw this really cool Space Jam shirt and I was checking the size and it will fit Dalton. So I had to show him the shirt and he decided that he likes the shirt. And that was the only thing he got that day. So he is impressed and happy with his Bugs Bunny shirt there. Again, guys, when you're at the thrift store, get stuff for yourself. Now here we are 
almost done. There's that Vashi bag. It did have one little spot on the front, but I did end up getting it. And we are almost at the end of my coverage. Don Dalton is mad and ready to go if you see his face. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the haul of everything we got now. All right, so we found almost as much as yesterday. Still some really good stuff, some good bags, Laurel Birch, some Pottery Barn Kids sheets. So let's take a look at this haul. All right, so here is everything I got and I am going to show you them individually the pottery barn kids remember this label here because this sells good these sheets i paid i think seven or eight and they should sell for around 50 or more i got this la dodgers 2020 world series champs that should go 15 to 20. same with the sketchers 15 to 20. i paid three dollars each for those these uh bottle kind of koozies moe and shandon and then this one is coravin they were two for a dollar and i think i can get 10 to 15 each this is a really cool vintage pillow i think that's a greyhound i believe that one should go for 40 to 50 if not more this was the one thing dalton got on the trip he loved this shirt it's a space jam we picked up this ferrari plate this ferrari plate was made in italy and it was only a dollar. It looks like there might be a superficial crack, but it does not go through all the way. I'm gonna have to research this one a bit. And then I love this dragonfly. This is a studio pottery piece. It's signed Lisa 06, but absolutely gorgeous. This one was three. We got this Nike Dry Fit XL shirt for three dollars it should go for 15 to 20 nike dry fit running shorts also xl and these again 15 to 20 maybe a little more this rocky horror picture show mug was one dollar that should go for about 15 same with this ride all around bone island bus paid a dollar should go for 15 this is a really cool vintage cast iron little buggy it was five dollars would work well for wine bottles but it also would work well for planners outside i think we can get 40 to 50 for that one and then i picked up this little ring holder i'm not sure if i'm going to sell this or keep it it was four dollars this one still has the sticker marquee by waterford and then this barco one is a really really nice scrub top size medium I paid three. This one should go for 15 to 20. This Vashi canvas messenger bag, I paid $8, but it should sell for 35 to 40. And then I got this Laurel Birch cat tote. Really, really cute print on it. I paid three. This one should go for 15 to 20. Another bra. We found bras two days in a row there. This one is, where is it? This one is Freya. Freya is the brand and it is a 36J. And that one I think will go for about 20 to 25. This is super cute. It is by Marilyn Boston. Inside it says life sweet, like sweet moments in nature. Friendship fills life with special delights. Super cute little napkin holder or trinket dish. This Lily Pulitzer tank top is a size large, really pretty pink. This one should go for 20 to 25. And then last is this Victoria's Secret sleep shirt, a medium. I paid three. It should go for about 15 to 20. So not a bad haul on the second day. I went back the second day and found all of this. So pretty decent haul on the second day. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have one video left from Key West. That will be a yard sale, and I will have that out for you this weekend. I hope your week has been great. I look forward to seeing you in a few days. Bye for now.